Today I've got some Forza Horizon 3 gameplay for you guys. Now before you get into it very quickly, just want to say, yes, the mic audio is probably not the greatest. I've done my best. I'm in a hotel room. It's how it is. But today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the gameplay session that I got to play and record during E3 so far. And as you can see, there are three cars available. Today we're going to be driving the Lamborghini Centaurine, Centaurine, that thing. I can't pronounce it yet, but this game is absolutely stunning. We get a quick overview of the car in all its glory. This game looks amazing. This is on the three, uh, sorry, the Xbox One version of the game. It's also on PC, as you know, with the possibility of going to 4K tech Textures at 60 frames, whatever you fancy, whatever your rig's capable of, it's possible in Forza, I believe. So they, that is, it, this is just a 1080p 30fps version of the game, and it looks absolutely stunning. Sounds have improved, lighting's improved. So many small improvements that I could go over that I could just go on for days and days about because, well, don't don't tempt me because I bloody will. Now I've obviously got the amazing opening shot of basically every Forza like demo or gameplay ever. It looks amazing you get a good shot of all the places you'll be able to be exploring in the next well few millions of hours you'll probably spend on the game but there's a lot to explore there's a lot to talk about and this little demo just gives you a little hint of what it's all about so you start off with a ridiculous lamborghini supercar that handles really amazing i must admit it handles ridiculously well i did uh, at the beginning go in without having any assists off or anything like that literally just go in as it should be played when you first get into the game, just to see how it is to pick up and play. And then I got pretty bored, pretty bored of how it handled, how easy it was. So I decided to switch and change the settings to be a little bit harder. I was expecting the Lamborghini to be a little bit more difficult to play with once I changed these settings, but honestly, it wasn't that difficult. Or it seemed pretty easy still. Again, it's a Horizon game. It's made to be a little bit easier, but to be honest, it's probably just like this Lamborghini being ridiculously easy to drive. And again, normally when you drive cars on Forza, you literally max the poop out of them and then you drive them, which is what, what, when issues occur. This is the case though, I believe this would be basically bone stock. Now, the AI, they seem to be a little bit better improved. I can't say obviously a whole lot from this demo alone, but the AI seem to have improved. They seem to catch up when they are a little bit more and they don't seem to be as annoying in general, like doing stupid things. They do the stupid things as normal because that's how it is, but yeah. Now, again, this is a demo, so we get to see a little bit now of a monster truck. Not literally a monster truck, but a truck that has monster stickers on the... So you get the idea. We're now going off road this is another part of forza as you know big bloody trucks going off road doing stupid jumps and well it, it really does I, I i'm really impressed with this demo it obviously shows you it, they want to show people a very quick way on how to uh, play the game and how or, or the varied terrains it goes through so you're going on the off-road section here with a buggy and i actually handled it pretty well i think pretty well it handles like very different off-road now to what it does on road you feel a difference you feel much more of a difference but it's not difficult in any way you just feel more of a difference between off-road and on-road which is one really good thing there's a very there's a change in handling overall for the whole like every single car feels different well from every single car that i used it feels different to what it would feel on forza horizon there's been an improvement on how the physics like calculate on like how the suspension works and yeah there's a there's a, a slight changes that make a big difference in my opinion it makes it feel more authentic in a way but at the same time it's still horizon it keeps that arcade-ish feel it doesn't slide as much like wheel spin constantly as much but again i can't say that 100 percent because i haven't been using a fully upgraded car like i normally would fly around with in forza horizon literally you buy a car and fully upgrade it it's basically how you play the game so we then got to one of the special events which was in a sand buggy dune buggy thing which as you already know I love like I love like literally as soon as it was announced or as soon as it was rumored to be in Australia I was like mate it needs to have this type of truck you need to be going into the sand dunes I need to be flinging this thing and destroying this thing in first person third person whatever you fancy with a wheel it's gonna be incredible now I did actually try this with a wheel during the event you'll see that in a video in the next couple of days but that it was it was really awesome with the wheel I must admit in the off-roading stuff to be fair, I never actually played Horizon 2 with a wheel, I don't think, from, from my knowledge. But it actually just felt, as you would expect, I handled it really well. And, well, it was a lot of fun. 
Again, the sun, the sun buggy, June buggy, it's really awesome to be in the game. I'm so glad they're adding like varied vehicles into the game, which make it just a much more varied experience in general, because as you know, the map is massive. It's got a city, it's got a small town, it's got the desert, it's got the, the like the mountains, it's got the beach, it's got, it, like, it's got basically everything. It's got the airstrip like runway thing, as you can imagine for drag races, it's got drift events in the game. They've gone full out with this game to add basically what people have been requesting and it's it really blew my mind when they did that like i was not expecting any of it including like, especially body kits body kits in this game and obviously upgrades for the off-road vehicles as well which is just beyond ridiculous and i can't wait to start playing around with some of well, all of the cars i'm going to try and basically use all the cars all 350 at launch and again they're probably going to have their normal season pass and well, pre-order bonus cars that sort of thing like they do on most forza games again Back to this truck, because it's freaking sick. It feels very different to the, like, the Lamborghini, obviously. That's what, that's what they were trying to show here, that it feels very different to drive different type of things like, in the game. And, and driving, this, driving this, it obviously, you can feel as if you can take jumps a lot better. You have much more suspension to play around with. Now, one thing I'm hoping, if you saw in Forza Horizon 2, there was an option to have like, off-road tires, off-road suspension, which basically raise the suspension, that sort of thing, and make it much better for off-roading. My hope is that it's actually possible to do that again on this game, but maybe more so, higher suspension and lower suspension. And with the fact that body kits are in the game, I'm hoping more camber, more things like that. It's simple things, but from what they've added so far, like even like the down to customizing your character and your license plate, they're small things, but big jobs, and they still did it. So I'm hoping that they have added the ability to add a bit more camber here, or like lower it a bit more, higher it a bit more, as I said just to give you that bit more customization and to give you that bit more practicality, especially when you're going off-road, you need a bit more suspension on some cars that are made to be ridiculously low, just like Lamborghinis, as we saw at the start. Again, this is made to be like the showcase events. It's, they're really cool. It seems really, really simple, honestly. I believe you can, you can actually lose these showcase events now. I don't think you could on the last Forza games. It was kind of timed and you could never really lose it. But now I actually, I actually saw somebody lose the, the, one of these events. So it seems it is possible to actually lose these events. Maybe you could on Forza Horizon 2. I don't know, but that's basically going to start to round off this video here. If you want to see me use one of the other cars, you know what to do. Just let me know down in the comments which one you want to see next. And also, do you want to see the wheel setup kind of video? Because that was a lot of fun. Again, Forza Horizon 3, so much fun. I'm going to be playing a different build very shortly, hopefully. And hopefully I can capture that, but if not, well, that's just the way it is. Things... Well, I'm not going to say it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like if you're hyped for Forza Horizon 3. And let me know your favorite aspect of the game thus far. Me, personally, I, I, can't, I can't tell you, honestly. I can't tell you. So, again, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.